Alright, so in this video we'll be joining the model, which you can see me doing here. I shift select both parts of the model, and then I press Control J to join them. Um, and now I'm just going to rotate the hand, and the whole arm, the whole forearm actually, until I find that it's like sort of in the right spot. And she looks like she has a horrible, horrible injury right now, but bear with me, we will fix it. Um, so you just keep sliding it around until it's sort of in the right spot, and you can keep looking at the left hand side to kind of verify. Most important thing is to make sure that the arms look like they're about the same length. I think that seems to be the most obvious sign that you did this. They're not. Um, this method is a little bit difficult if your model is extremely different on both sides, and if that was the case, I would recommend just deleting this arm and making a new one. Um, I might make a video in the future where it's completely different, just to show you what I would do. But this technique works if it's pretty similar. And like, all you need to do is rotate a few things. And so here you see me just kind of trying to give the arm some of its shape back. And I decide that I don't really need that bottom layer of vertices, so I just kind of merge it all together. And I notice that the elbow is disappearing because that just sort of happens when you're not careful and you just gotta kind of pull it around until you can see it again. And so, um, I just push and pull and then I realized that the arm wasn't even, like the elbow wasn't even on the arm anymore, so I decided to just delete those vertices and to recut them. Then I filled it back in, just kind of extended it until it was the shape I wanted. Which didn't take me too long. And see, we've already got our arm- oh yeah, and then I finished merging all the vertices. We've got our arm pretty nice, just kind of rotating it a bit more. And it looks pretty good, so... Alright, um, this character has flame coming from her from her thumbs, and so I decided to just create a little flame with an X. I just pressed Shift A and I added a cylinder with six vertices again, and I'm just kind of shaping it to make a basic flame. Uh, I do not recommend using my <laughs> flame making as a tutorial method. Uh, <laughs> you can if you wish, but it's not the best flame of all times. I'm sure someone else can make a better one. But for the sakes, for the sake of this commission, I just kind of give her a little flame. And so right now I'm trying to just kind of get the shape of it. It's not looking quite like a flame. Basically what I'm just doing is I'm cutting out the triangles at the top and I'm shaping and pushing and pulling it until it looks enough like fire to pass. It's hard to make low poly gases. Is fire gas? I think so. Anyway, I'm just kind of giving a little bit more space on the inside. Always looking at the left. Right now my cursor was in the way, so I had to push it out of the way. And I fire has some yellow in it, so I'm giving it an extra layer of intricacy and coloring it with yellow. I find that when you use um, the materials in the way I did it, it kind of gives you a palette and you're restricted to only use certain colors, so it's kind of- it's nice. It gives it a nice cohesive feeling. And then I thought like the orange I was using wasn't satisfying me, so I decided to just make another one. My materials panel is starting to go a little bit crazy, um, and I don't necessarily like that, but, eh, well. <laughs> Alright, and so, I'm about happy with it at this point. So I just, um, modifying the flames a bit more. So I selected it with L, and then I pressed Shift D, and I brought it over to her other thumb. And now I'm just kind of tweaking a few last things and some of the facial expressions. Giving her eyes a little bit more of a narrowedness, because she's a 
feisty fiery girl and I'm extending her chin a bit and just about done. Right here I kind of struggled deciding what I wanted the background color to be because this part's actually pretty important and you really should think about this at the beginning. Um, I ended up just settling on black. You see me change it to like lavender and gray here but I decided black was the best so that's, that's about it. Um, that's I think the end of the tutorial. I'm probably going to make one tutorial later about how to make a rotating animation. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, leave me any comments and requests, and I'll see if I can get to it. Thank you guys.